Hi, I'm Jill. Let's learn about Judy Chicago, an artist who paved the way for women in the arts. We will learn about her project, The End, emphasizing her concern for the survival of all living creatures on Earth. Through art making and research, we will rethink our relationship to the natural world. For this project, you will need a sketchbook or sketch paper, art paper, black or the color of your choice, pencil, eraser, sharpener, white pencil, colored pencils, and research materials. Judy Chicago's project, The End, A Meditation on Death and Extinction, explores the extinction of all living beings on Earth. When I really began researching, it was unbearable, said Chicago. We're driving the human species and all other species to destruction. In our animal poster project, we will each choose one animal, reptile, sea creature, bird, insect, or plant to study. Together, we'll investigate how this animal lives in the wild and how human actions are harming its habitat and ability to survive. We'll think about what we can do to ensure this species' survival into the future. Let's look closely at Judy Chicago's image, Stranded. The polar bear is balancing on a shrinking iceberg, surrounded by stripes of melting ice, its vanishing habitat. The white paint on black glass reflects the despair of losing an animal species to human-induced habitat destruction. Judy Chicago quotes, Every creature on the planet must be hoping that our time of awakening comes soon. When I look at this polar bear, I wonder how we as humans can work together to stop global warming. I wonder what difference I can make in my lifetime as an artist. I chose to focus on the giraffe because I loved seeing the giraffes at the zoo with my dad when I was a kid. Although it made me feel sad that they weren't roaming freely on the African plains. What animal will you focus on? You could look at endangered species lists, books, magazines, or just choose your favorite animal. Divide a paper into four sections. Number and title them. One, survival needs. Two, human health. Three, natural harms. And four, human harms. Here, I quickly sketched out the proportions of my giraffe, making sure it will fit onto my paper. Now, I'll add some details here to the head. Then, I'll adjust my lines to show the movement of the body. Take note of how your animal moves. Try to imagine its skeleton and locate the joints that help it move. Using an eraser, clean up your sketch so you have a nice, crisp outline. To transfer your image, place your paper underneath and trace the lines pressing hard enough to leave an indent. Using one hand to secure the paper, take a peek and see if the lines are showing through. Now, Go back with a white pencil and carefully trace over the indented lines to redraw your animal. What type of skin, fur, scales, shell, or feathers does your species have? Look at the texture and the pattern. Hmm, my giraffe has irregularly shaped spots. Choose a range of colors to mix. Use pencil marks and layering to show the texture of your animal's skin or body covering. Hmm, I'll use a range of yellow, orange, and brown, and I'll color in a zigzaggy line to show that the giraffe is covered in fur.
Looking back at my mind map, I'm going to circle some words that seem important to me. Trees, land, fences, deforestation. Now I'm going to add some of these words to my artwork in a creative way. I might make a tree here. Some of my words. Open land. Things that help the giraffe survive. Acacia trees. D for est Asian. Deforestation. I'll just incorporate these words into the design by adding some leaves on the tree, making the fence, Looking back at Judy Chicago's composition, her words seem to fade into the background like melting ice. In my glass frog piece, my words follow the shape of the leaf, changing size for emphasis. Here are my cousin's kids, Charlie and Caroline, meeting giraffes in their natural habitat on a trip to Kenya. Share what you learn about your animal Present the story to your class at school or to your family at dinner.